All right, let's go ahead and examine my cluster environment. Here's my server. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up cluster manager. Right here is my cluster. Let's go ahead and expand that. Let's take a look on the roles. I have these roles. I have SQL Server installed in clustering mode and I have availability groups set up as well. Let's take a look, take a look on nodes. I have four nodes. As you can see right here, all are up and running. So let's go ahead and um, go through the cluster aware updating. In order to do that, you need to select the cluster. There are two ways to get to it. You can right click on the cluster, go to more actions and click on cluster aware updating. Or you can look at right pan right here, click on more actions and click on cluster aware updating. So as you can see right here, um, these are the things that we discussed in our um, uh, main screen, applying updates to this cluster, preview updates for, the, uh, for this cluster. So these are all the things that we discussed earlier. So first thing that we need to do um, when you first time running the cluster aware updating is analyze the cluster updating readiness. As I said that this part right here will check that if your cluster is ready to have this role configured, which is cluster aware updating. So let's go ahead and click on analyze cluster updating readiness. This will execute some rules against your cluster and if they passes, then we are able to, it, it would tell us that uh, go ahead and um, uh, configure cluster aware uh, updating. But if it fails, if any error we encounter, uh, you need to basically go ahead and take care of that error before you can configure uh, cluster self updating option. You'll see some warnings. You need to go through the warnings as well. If the warnings is any communication gap between the cluster that it cannot communicate with such and such node, then that is uh, alarming basically. So you need to take care of that warning. Let's make it, let's maximize that. All right. Up here I got one warning. While it's doing that, I'm going to check that what warning it is. Uh, the machine proxy on each failover cluster node should be set to a local proxy server. This is not bad, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, it crashed on me, so let's go ahead and close the program and do it again. This time we will click on right click on the cluster and uh, click more action and click on cluster aware updating. Click on Analyze Cluster Update Readiness. Maximize this. All right, everything is passed. I do have one warning uh, and that should be okay. It says machine proxy on each failover cluster node should be set to local proxy server. That is okay. I, I know that uh, this is not gonna be a problem for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. <coughs> Next thing that uh, we need to do is uh, preview updates for this, uh, this cluster. What happened is if we click on preview updates for this cluster, it's going to bring all the updates that needs to be applied on all the nodes in your cluster environment. So it is important to see that what uh, um, updates that is going to be applied on your cluster. Uh, it'll give you the report. You can basically pick and choose uh, later on if you wanted to do it manually. But uh, this will bring all the updates that's needed in the cluster. Keep in mind that in my cluster, I have done um, uh, cluster aware updating couple times first time it failed and I'll tell you that uh, what things that uh, needs to be um, looked at before you configure and start uh, uh, cluster self update options uh, that's the reason that I ran it before so that I can um, share with you what uh, issues it comes along but um, if you see that all uh, nodes are successful the last run result is successful for me 
but um let's go ahead and click on preview updates for this cluster i ran it last night so i might not have many updates or may not have any basically so right here is windows updates you have an option that if you wanted to click on hot fixes you can click on here and check microsoft hot fixes that needs to be applied in your cluster environment so i'm going to go ahead and with windows updates and click on generate update preview list all right uh, while it's doing that i'm going to tell you that uh, what issues i ran into there are two things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to cluster where updating number one if you have sql server uh, installed in cluster mode then you need to make sure that before you do that um, in the same window that you um, probably communicated and took the windows um, um, clusterware update window from your organization that cluster is going to be down or uh, services may go down and come up so from your application side so in that particular window you need to make sure that um, go ahead and manually fail over your SQL Server um, SQL Server instances and see if everything is okay that is the one rule because if it wouldn't be able to um, move your um, SQL Server instances from one node to another node it's gonna fail number two that is very important if you have set up availability group between your nodes then you need to make sure that uh, you n go ahead and manually fail over your availability group onto different nodes wherever uh, you wanted to if you have a, a couple replica if you have two or three replicas you need to make sure that uh, it comes it goes to every replica it fails over fine to every replica and fail back fine to your main replica which is primary replica so these two things these two um <clears throat> tests you need to do if availability group fails uh, fa fail over and it doesn't come online your cluster where updating will fail and that was the issue with my environment um one of my replica did not respond um well and my availability group failed over and it couldn't fail it back so i ran into that error and for me the last run was failed uh, i mean uh, last run was successful but uh, before that i had a couple runs on this uh, uh, my environment so just wanted to make sure that you do these things before you basically configure clusterware updates so right now as i said that uh, i don't have any updates since uh, i ran it last night but you will see a lot of updates and in order to check the updates that what it, that update is and what it's going to do whether it's going to restart your um uh, node or not you need to click on uh, uh, update and you will see uh, right here that updates detail up here and it'll tell you that whether it um, requires the reboot or not so let's go ahead and close this next is um, before we configure and uh, uh, apply that since I have run that already so what we can do is um, we can click on generate report we can go through these couple tabs and because uh, if you configure cluster self updating option and start running it takes a long time it took a long time for me the reason it took a long time it depends on your network uh, it depends on your uh, physical resources of your nodes these couple nodes for me is uh, they are VM and I have just couple gig memory so that's the reason it took a long time to uh, install um, uh, download install and reboot all that so it took a long time for me it may not take long time for you but uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you understand when when you run it uh, it is going to take some time so let's go ahead and click on generate report on the past update runs here is the uh, start date and end date if you wanted to look at the report you need to click on generate report all right as you can see that uh, I have run numerous time this and first time it was failed second time I canceled it and then it failed and failed one thing that I noticed that it if it if it fails from the report you can't really tell that what was the reason it failed if you catch it uh, live it might be able to tell you and there might be other um, I haven't explored maybe go to event viewer and see that uh, what was the reason that um, your updates failed and all that but um, that this is the run that was very successful for me um, 
So I'm gonna just um, uh, show you that this is the report that you can see that uh, how many time it failed or if it's successful. And these are the update titles. From here, you will be able to see, as you can see that um, in my succeeded uh, right here, the status, these are the updates that were applied. My cluster environment was way behind. So as you can see that uh, this is just a one server and if my one server was missing that much uh, i can bet you the other servers are missing these many as well so if you click on here it'll tell you that um, also that uh, what the um what this uh, update is gonna do uh, let me show you right here what i was talking about whether restart is required it says maybe and severity is important if you wanted to know more detail about this uh, update you can go to this url and um, it will uh, tell you and if you put the KB right there then it'll tell you that uh, what this update is all about so this is how you generate basically report uh, you can export the report uh, from here and share it with uh, with your team so let's go ahead and close this next is that um, when we set up the when we configure self uh, uh, update option what we will do is um, it, it's gonna create um, a run profile run profile has different options and we will see that when we configure that you can change those options later on uh, in order to schedule you can schedule your uh, update um, cluster aware update on your cluster environment um, that is also uh, one of the good feature that you can schedule it and it'll run on its own um, but um, mostly folks like to just um, take a look live that what's gonna happen uh, because cluster aware uh, because cluster environment is usually very sensitive and nobody wants that uh, it would uh, you know go offline and and all that so anyway let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on configure self updating option so click next what I'm going to do is remove CAU cluster role right now because I want you to take a look from the start because this this will um, only happen if you already con uh, installed and configured uh, this CAU so it's not gonna take long for me let's go ahead and remove this and then we will start configuring again so it's successful close let's go ahead and click one more time configure cluster where self updating option click next this is what you will see if you are configuring it first time your CAU cluster role with self updating enabled so you need to click on add CAU cluster role click on this if you have any file uh, that has um, a direction for this um, CAU to execute you can click on I have a pre-staged computer object for the CAU cluster role you can click on this and it'll get that so click next here is the schedule you can schedule daily weekly or monthly I I just wanted to for this demo purposes I just wanted to keep it the way it is um, and I'm going to disable it after the demo but um, if you wanted to schedule it monthly you can um, I will just go ahead and run it one time and then disable it click next this is the profile I was talking about if you um, wanted to put some parameter stop after you can put um, uh, type a new value or use default uh, if you leave um, this if you don't write anything it's gonna take the default warn after their warnings maximum uh, retries per node would be three if you wanted to just do one you can do that if you're um, um, some nodes are um, you know offline you need to leave this like this if uh, you wanted all the nodes online it's gonna go ahead and uh, if you can you can select that and it's gonna check that all the nodes are online so some of the nodes may be just used for um, availability group in your environment and um, it was maybe just for uh, testing purposes or uh, the node is offline if you click this then it's not gonna run it's gonna fail right away saying that your node is uh, offline so node order you can put the node order right here I'm going to go ahead and keep everything default but you can uh, come back to that later uh, with the, uh, the change profile option and select that and fill whatever you need to fill so let's go ahead and click next 
if you wanted to, um, Windows updates sent to you you can click this one I'm not gonna click that click next so this is the summary um, th this is the command that is gonna run behind the scene you can copy this command and you can uh, basically uh, put that command into batch file and it will uh, run on your schedule if you wanted to if you don't like the schedule that they have uh, during this um, uh, configuration you can make your own schedule but back behind the scene this is the command that's running so but keep in mind that this needs to be configured in order for uh, this command to be uh, successful so click apply now this is configuring uh, our CAU cluster role with self updating enabled All right, the role is added. Let's go ahead and close this. Close. Since we have configured a cluster self-updating option, we have an option right now to go ahead and run it right now. And that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply updates to this cluster this is how you will apply it right away and click next confirm that click on update and the self updating run in the background has started and schedule is immediate click close and as soon as you click close you will see that this is um, the update status is in waiting so what it'll do is it'll pick one node scan for updates and once it's and it sees that there are updates that for it to uh, download it will start downloading uh, right now since I don't have really many updates it will it should go very quick for me but um, for you if there are updates then it's gonna scan and it's gonna download and then it's gonna install those updates during that period when it's installing that if you take a look on your roles it's gonna do if there are updates needs to be installed it's gonna pick one node and pause that node it's gonna first move all the resources on that node to to the other resource uh, other nodes and then it's gonna pause that particular node and then it's gonna go ahead and uh, um, update your um, Windows updates using clusterware updating so in my case as I said that I have run it last night so everything is successful basically what it did was as you can see right here no updates to install so it went ahead and scanned for updates my cluster where um, my cluster environment is uh, up to date so that's why it didn't take long for me but again I, I, I will tell you that it it took a long time first time for me because my cluster environment was way uh, be, uh, behind uh, as far as uh, Windows updates and you can similarly use this uh, cluster where um, updating option uh, basically to do the hot fixes as well the good thing is that uh, it takes one node at a time and uh, it fails over all the resources automatically to the uh, uh, secondary uh, or uh, in cluster world maybe a passive node uh, or other active node and uh, start updating your um, your uh, node it will bring up your uh, current profile you can change it from here or you can change it while you were doing that so all the information is right here is pretty slick feature but uh, there are things needs to be taken care of uh, as I said that please go ahead before you uh, run this uh, clusterware updating option or role you should make sure that uh, your uh, SQL server if they are in cluster mode um, they fail back and forth okay no problem there and if you have set up availability group uh, you need to make sure that uh, availability group fails over and fail back all right, and I hope um, this demo helps.